Good morning, everybody. I wanted to give you one last video. I'm going to send something to you in hard copy, but I'm going to read it to you for those of you who really like the video version. I just recorded one, and it didn't record very loudly, so I'm going to speak very loudly, and for those of you who have really good speakers on your computer, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it was really hard to hear my last recording. So I'm going to read you my email. There's some... Um, instructions for our night tomorrow night as well as some information on the next CI round group that I'm going to have so please listen or read to the end of the email or video mail okay first of all I want to thank each of you that have invested your life in the gospel and the scriptures in the last seven years. if you have you know that you've grown and the scriptures have now become your daily life source connection to interacting with person of the Holy Spirit. Instead of disconnecting, in times of crisis or challenge, you're reaching for your Bible or smartphone Bible app instead of random worldly patterns of dealing with life. This means you have learned to live out of your new man to a greater extent. Hooray! P.S. I've loved this group so much and I know it was because you were really going for it. So thank you for really, really honoring my leadership by participating and really taking the assignment seriously and for all your journaling time and the time you spent in the word I have benefited personally from your investment in the scripture so thank you okay the next group my group will be meeting on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. there's an eight person limit on every single group so if you're planning to sign up I want you to be aware of what my group will be doing for the next six months it's a little more intensive and structured than in the past and I want to give you kind of a, a glimpse of what that's going to look like. It's going to help us grow and live out of more truth and power. We did some of this kind of trials of it uh, in the last group, but it will be official for our next group. First, step one will be memorizing the scripture of the assigned verse that I give so that you can come to the group and declare it in power at the meeting from memory. This will help you in your day-to-day -day life. Once you've done that, you'll email me, and I'll give you the next step. The next step will be reading your scripture aloud with Jesus and taking notes on the phrases that are highlighted by the Holy Spirit. Now, we know how to do that because we were doing this for the last six months, so this isn't a shock to you. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to email me, and then I'm going to give you some feedback. Uh, the next one is, the next step will be reading the verses that are, reading the verses in context. Uh, now, the next three sections are a little bit like what Lynn Maher did in the last six months. She was looking at the story of the paralytic that was lowered down to see Jesus. Now, um, there were some. she took the whole story in context, and in that, God imparted truth to her that really gave her wisdom on how to, to approach praying for her family. It was very powerful. So I'm going to refer to her sharing a couple, a couple of these steps. Uh, so you're going to read the verse in context, write some notes down about it, and email it to me, and then I will give you feedback. The next step will be pickings or highlights from the passage that you've written in your journal. These are the phrases that stood out to you. Um, you're really good at this. We've been doing this for six months. So the highlights that are really, really standing out to you, you're going to email those to me or video mail me, and then I'm going to give you some feedback on that. So this will be a lot more one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so hopefully... Um, you will enjoy that. It will really help us both grow. So the next step will be interpreting what the passage is about with the help of the Holy Spirit. Uh, when you get this journal, you're going to email it to me, and I'm going to give you feedback and tell you what to do next. The next stage is finally is the applying this passage to your life, experiencing it, and living the power of it. You'll journal about that, and then uh, you'll bring it to the group. It's going to be awesome. Uh, it'll also really structure our sharings a little bit so that you know exactly what to share. Uh, it'll be really, really helpful. You'll love it. So I want you to be ready for the next level of growing up in Christ with me. If you accept this challenge and plan to participate wholeheartedly, because I will be, go ahead and sign up. I currently have four spots, so keep that in mind for the sign-up day. Finally, Here's the scripture that I've been thinking about today. 
I read it out loud and I was amazed that it just brought little subtle accusations that were irritating me, brought them to light, crushed them like little nuances floating around my thoughts and just destroyed them. Um, the MDCC cross immersion is coming up and I'm finding that I have to really stand in truth on a daily basis, moment to moment sometimes. The last three weeks I just feel like the truth has been challenged and tested in my thinking and if I entertain any of those little things, little nuances, I'll call them, if I entertain them for just a second, um, it upsets my emotions. And so I just am finding that I've got my Bible close by me. I've got my Bible gateway sort of just open while I'm checking Benji's homework. And I'm just really investing myself in a fresh revelation of the cross, of my death with Jesus. And it's, I'm finding that it's keeping me in truth. Uh, so much so that I wasn't feeling really well last week, and it I just stood in truth all day. I stood in it day after day, and it just I got better and better and better. Um, so it really makes a difference what we what we reach for in the morning. And um, I wanted to share with you the verse that I found today. Hopefully, you will find it very strengthening, like I did. All right, here's the verse. It was from. Romans 6, 12 through 14, in the Phillips version, it said, Do not, then, allow sin to establish any power over your mortal bodies. I'll read it again. Do not, then, allow sin to establish any power over your mortal bodies. Don't even let it set up a little tent in your living room and tell you a lie or accuse you of who you are or who you're not. Don't allow sin to establish, like put tent pegs in the ground. Don't even let it do drive-bys. Don't let it, do not allow it to establish any power over your mortal bodies. All the power that sin had was stripped from you on the cross. So, I really found that very strengthening to say out loud today. Isn't it great? What verse have you been spending time in in the last two weeks? Here's your assignment for tomorrow night. Please narrow your sharing to one journal entry. Pick your favorite so that we can condense it to one specific, powerful, potent sharing about one verse that really impacted your life over the last two weeks, and you really have become that verse. And I want you to... Um, Really be mindful that we've got all the women in our group have to share, and so just pick your favorite. Um, so if you've got three different things that have happened, I love hearing all those stories. Please email them all to me if you want to do that. If you don't get to share them all, I would love to hear them because I love it. But we only have enough time for, you know, 10 people to share. We only have a limited amount of time in the night and limited amount of attention span for working moms, uh, whether they're at home or they're at an office. So please pick your favorite. Bring that one and ask for the Holy Spirit to be present in more power than we've ever experienced in the last six months. I want you to bring the Holy Spirit in you. Bring your favorite sharing that you want to, that you've narrowed it down to. And bring your Bible. And I'll see you then. Have a good day.